Sometimes, the giver or donor of a power of appointment includes specific instructions about how to exercise that power. What if the person holding the power doesn't follow those instructions? Can the holder still exercise the power of appointment? The Florida District Court of Appeal explored this question in Sesic v. Stevens. Sally Christensen's father created three trusts for Christensen's benefit. As the beneficiary, Christensen received distributions from the trusts, but she didn't own the assets in them. Each trust gave Christensen a testamentary power of appointment that was limited by a specific reference requirement. The testamentary power of appointment allowed Christensen to distribute that trust's assets in her will to anyone she wanted. But with this specific reference requirement, that distribution was valid only if Christensen specifically referenced the trust's power of appointment in the distribution. Under each trust's terms, if Christensen didn't exercise her power of appointment, then that trust's assets would go to Christensen's children at her death. When Christensen died, she had two children, Marcia Stevens and Christopher Evans. Christensen's will gave $5,000 to an individual named Sharon Peoples and the rest of her estate to Joanne Sesek. Christensen's will contained only one reference to trusts. The will claimed that the three trusts were part of the estate that went to Sesek, referencing one trust by name and the other two trusts only by location. The will didn't mention a power of appointment anywhere. Stevens petitioned the probate court for a declaration that Christensen hadn't exercised her powers to appoint the trust's assets, which would mean that the trust's assets would go to Stevens and Evans. A magistrate heard the matter. The probate court adopted the magistrate's recommendations, finding that Christensen could exercise her powers of appointment only by specifically referring to them and that Christensen's will hadn't generally or specifically referred to any powers of appointment. Therefore, the probate court declared that Christensen hadn't exercised her powers to appoint the trust's assets. Sesek appealed to the Florida District Court of Appeal.